Welcome to today's episode of the Tech Me Show. Today we're going to learn how to do the Windows 7 Home Group. Uh, without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and click Start. And then we want to click Control Panel. Now we want to go ahead and click Network and Internet. From here, we can go ahead and select the Home Group. Now there's advanced uh, options, which I will go forth and show you after. But let's go ahead and do this basic. Um, let's go ahead and click create a home group now we can select what we want to share it doesn't necessarily have to be um, uh, just your normal stuff like uh, documents which it's odd that it's not checked nonetheless we can check it and I have and I don't want to share my music uh, my videos I don't want to share pictures possibly uh, printers sure why not and documents yes so we'll go ahead and again you can select whatever you like or select them all if you want your whole computer to be shared then go forth and click next give it a moment and that's it you have just created a home group now this password is extremely important uh, you definitely need this otherwise you cannot join this home group and it's so important you write this down or uh, save it and if you want to save it to your local computer go ahead and highlight it all literally select from the end and click down the left uh, mouse key and slide while holding it all the way over to the left and then right click and then left click copy again you could also do control a on your key oh actually I take that back you cannot um, also you have the uh, ability to print password and instructions so if we go ahead and click this now it gives us the option to go ahead and uh, select print, which I can't stress enough to go forth and do. And if you have a PDF printer, you could go ahead and save this as a PDF, which if you want to save paper, great idea. Cute PDF is free, actually, and it's quite a good thing to keep on your computer, which I'll show you in my next tutorial uh, regarding that. But let's go ahead and click finish. And now these three items are being able to be uh, shared and now it says how do I exclude files and folders well let's go ahead and click that the help and support comes up and basically it's junk you just have to be careful what you do now you can stream your media pictures and whatnot to other devices by checking stream my pictures music and videos to all devices on my home network and you can choose media streaming options which we're gonna go ahead and select and I have now as you see here choose your media library I would now my name is Lance which you may or may not know by now um, and you could go ahead and call it whatever you'd like uh, like uh, uh, home server right and uh, you can go ahead and allow things and whatnot but let's go ahead and select customize look at this here are the defaults that's pretty cool right um, but let's go ahead and uncheck that you know we don't do defaults here um, now it says make all the media in my library available to this device yeah why not come on if you're sharing your audio and video you might as well right choose star ratings eh, I hope you don't do those star ratings but make sure it's all God forbid something changes somehow in your settings and your main file doesn't get stars. That would be pretty sad, right? Uh, parental rating, that's cool if, uh, you know, that's something you need to worry about. And then you would go ahead and select OK. Great, now you have customized settings. Let's say you don't want to allow this anymore. Go to Allowed, click Blocked which now home groups computers are automatically uh, blocked but uh, they are allowed right um, so th that's good because they do have to have uh, a username and password but this is no longer actually a, a home group thing this is media streaming um, but anyways uh, there's also the power options which is important in case your computer goes to sleep and um, what have you um, but if you really require this stuff uh, go ahead and choose probably power saver um, unless you want to modify your plan and whatnot um, but that that's more advanced than what I want to get into today uh, I know I'm being brief regarding that uh, we can make it into another video if you just let me know um, 
But let's say you didn't want to do the media. You know what? Don't go ahead and press OK. Just don't even press even cancel. Just click the back button to go back to your home group. And we still have the options and the streaming is unchecked. So that's good. Um, but let's say you need to print your home group password again. Go ahead and select this. And then boom, you have it. And you can print it by selecting the print button, which is very important, especially if, if you lose the password, you have new computers and what have you. Uh, and also, you can leave the home group. That's really cool, especially if you're somewhere else and you need to like hop on their group. It's almost like as if you had a local domain without having to have the a server and uh, the right version of Windows to log on to a domain. Um, but let's go ahead and click the change advanced sharing settings. I just wanted to go through this with you real quick. You can turn on or off network discovery, uh, but... You know, I would leave it on, to be honest with you. Uh, there's re no reason really to keep it off. Um, so go ahead and keep it on. File and uh, printer sharing. Since we are sharing our printer, this is obviously something you want on. Um, otherwise, you can't really share a printer, can you? Uh, public folder sharing. This is completely up to you. Um, you know, uh, I would have this off if I was in a public place. Um, by selecting this. Uh, however, if you have uh, a username and password access to the machine to log in, um, basically the right credentials, you can still access the files. Um, and the only way to stop that from happening is basically going to that fire, file, pardon me, file or folder, right clicking it, going to properties and uh, security and removing the access that. Uh, is there or is not there uh, but anyways we'll go ahead and keep it on just for you know just because uh, and it's you notice this media streaming is on yeah, I'm telling you by default streaming is enabled on Windows 7 and I hate it um, which that might be our next video <laughs> even though we have some programming tutorial anyways back to the point I apologize everybody I totally apologize um, now, it says use 128-bit uh, encryption. Yes, don't even turn this off. I don't care what anybody says. You leave this on, right? 40 to 56-bit? No, no, no. Leave it to 128. You're barely going to notice some kind of a difference. And if you have a device that can't do 128-bit, you toss that out. You toss that out right now. Um, and now we have password-protected uh, sharing. Keep it on, people, in case you take, let's say, assuming it's a laptop, and you go somewhere and you forget. Keep it on. I beg of you, people, keep it on. Now, you also have allow Windows to manage home group connections. Yes, of course, obviously. Um, I think that's the best route, to be honest with you. Um, and then you have your public options and what have you, uh, which is important. Uh network discovery off now you might be saying but what is this other profile home or work yeah you know even though it's home or work I still like to treat it as public if I'm not home you just never know what somebody can come up with their get around right um, but see by default uh, turn off network discovery good turn off file and printer sharing good uh, turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files to the public folders. Yeah, I would probably turn that off. Um, and then we have the 128-bit. Great. And then password uh, protected sharing. Terrific. Um, I think that's, uh, you know, see network discovery. I would never leave that on in public, right? Um, so basically, we didn't have to change anything because I concur with all of it. So we'll go back, and uh, it all looks good. But let's say now you're leaving your house, and it is a laptop you have. Let's go ahead and leave the home group, right? So we can do that by selecting leave the home group. Or let's say you were in the control panel, and you click home group. You can go ahead and select leave the home group. Just as simple as that. Press it. And it says leave the home group, don't leave and don't change anything. Don't leave but change what I'm sharing. Eh, that's not what we want. Um, we want to leave the home group. And give it a moment. And we've successfully left the home group. And now we're back to creating a home group.
I hope this was useful to you guys. I apologize for all the commentary. Um, but if you have any questions, I do hope you uh, contact us. Comment here, or you can follow us on Twitter at TechMeShow. We're also on Google+. Please, people, contact us. We'd love to make you a video to help you. Anything to help you guys, right? Um, we love you guys. Thank you for watching our videos, even though there's all of two of you guys. But we love you, too. Um, no pun intended. Okay, maybe. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the Tech Me Show. Have a good day.